Welcome to this second small basic video. Today we're going to have a look at some really basic commands to do a drawing. We're just going to be sequencing those commands. We're not going to be doing anything complicated at all. Last video we had this show command which makes the turtle appear, move which makes the turtle move forward, turn which in this case is making it turn 90 degrees to the right and then we've done a move as well. Now uh, there's a few more things to know. So first of all, um, turtle dot move can be used with negative numbers. So if you use it with a negative number, instead of going forward, it goes backwards. Have a look here. So it goes forwards, turns right forward, and now you can see the turtle goes backwards, marking behind it. The turn turns to the right. If you want to turn to the left, then you could do use turtle dot turn, and then you have to use a negative number to turn left. So if I say minus 30, it's going to turn to the left 30 degrees at the end. Obviously, some of your designs are going to get a little bit complex. So you might want to speed up the turtle so long as everything is going right. For that, we can set this attribute of speed, so turtle.speed, and then we set it to 10, like that. And we can see that the turtle is going to go very much quicker. Obviously, you can slow it down a bit. So let's just take it to 8, in which case it will go quite fast but we can still kind of see what it is doing. So we have this big long sequence of commands and we're gonna be drawing a house. Uh, so that should be relatively straightforward, but you might want, for example, a window that's not joined to the rest of the house. So you can do uh, turtle dot pen up. And this kind of takes the pen underneath the turtle off the paper. So uh, then if I do turtle.move and we go 100, we can see that he's going to do his thing and then he moves but he does not draw. I can then put the pen down. And I can then move further. Now, I have to say, I, of course, am just demonstrating this with these commands. You're actually trying to draw something. So you just need to experiment. And where it goes wrong, you change your code. It's a really useful exercise. Lastly, this turtle is left here. So actually what I can do is I can do turtle.hide and then at the end of our program the turtle disappears and we're left with what we're left with. So these are the commands that you need to do the very basics. Uh, you might also just like to experiment with graphics window dot uh, pen color and if I set that to uh, red at the start of the well let's just do it actually halfway through the program and you'll see what happens at the point where it turns the pen color to red it starts drawing red and you could use black and there's a number of other colors. Uh, just try them out. The other thing you can do is you can change the pen width. So if I do graphics window dot pen width is set to 10. Again, that enables me to bring a little bit more style into what I'm doing. So 
very very straightforward uh, these are the basic commands you need uh, in order to be really operating at the level which you should be in year seven we've also got to start putting loops in and that will be the topic of our next video